Hey there, how's it going everybody? Welcome back, Plant Abundance here. Today I'm gonna to be talking all about the fava bean, how to grow them, when to grow them, weather requirements, spacing, and also offer up a few tips and tricks to help to give you the best chance of success when propagating out this abundant food crop, soil builder, beneficial insect attractor, and all in all just a beautiful plant worth growing in the garden. So the fava bean, or broad bean as we call it in the States, also known as Vasia fava, is a plant that loves cool weather. The optimal growing temperature you're going to shoot for is in between the ranges of 40 and 70 degrees Fahrenheit, with a sweet spot of about 60 degrees. If you live in a temperate climate zone, one in which doesn't get too cold in the winter or doesn't get a lot of snow, then you can plant out the fava bean either in the fall or in the early spring. If you live in a colder climate zone, here in the United States it would be USDA zone 7A and below, then you're going to want to plant these out in the spring as your weather is going to dip below that 10 degrees Fahrenheit mark in the winter and that could kill back the plant. So for those folks, you're going to want to plant those seeds in the ground in the spring as soon as the ground is thawed and becomes workable. Now to get a jump start on the season, you can start these seeds indoors. They take about 7 to 14 days to germinate. And then you can put those plants under some grow lights or in the windowsill and let them grow out for at least a couple more weeks before you put them out. That'll give you a good month jump start on the season, helping you to hone in to that window of cooler months before it gets too hot. And if you live in USDA climate zones 7B and up, you can go ahead and plant those seeds in the fall. And if you want to get a little bit of a jump start on that season, you can plant them out a couple weeks before the beginning of fall, which will give that seed a bit of a jump start on the season, allowing it to germinate. By the time it sprouts up, you'll be in the fall season. So the fava bean typically requires about 75 to 95 days to full maturity. After fully mature, the pods will then begin to dry out right there on the plant, helping to preserve the beans. So if you're going to be saving some of those beans for seed stock or for food storage, you can let them continually dry right there on the plant for about another month or so. Now these plants can become quite large, about two to five feet tall by about two and a half feet wide. So unless you're growing them as more of a ground cover and you're just going to allow them to kind of topple over, you're going to want to stake them up. When sowing the beans in the soil or the ground, you want to put them down about an inch deep and about a foot apart. And prior to planting, it's a really good idea to inoculate the beans. And this is easily accomplished with the use of a B&P inoculant, which is a rhizobium bacteria. And rhizobia are a group of soil bacteria that interact with the roots of the plant and the soil, and they help with the creation of nitrogen root nodules. So those nitrogen root nodules are going to help to feed the plant itself as well as the surrounding plants in the area. This is going to create a more resilient pest and disease resistant plant. And if you want to grow the fava just for the soil building aspects, you can cut the plant down as soon as it begins to flower. This is the time when it really starts to use up those nitrogen nodules. And what this is going to do is cause those nodules to fall off the roots beneath the soil surface, fixing nitrogen into the soil as well as build the soil by leaving those roots in the ground to decompose. And that's it. That's really all there is to it. This is one of the easiest crops to grow. So to quickly recap, what you want to do is get those seeds in the ground and you want them growing when your temperatures in your area are going to be between 40 and 75 degrees Fahrenheit for about 75 days or more. You can get a jump start on the season by starting these indoors up to a month ahead of time. And using a rhizobium inoculant prior to planting the beans is going to make the plant very healthy and abundant. So timing is everything with this crop. And if you're one of the folks who receives some of the Cuscan Super Yellow Fava Beans from me, even if you're just starting with five beans, if you get those in the ground at the right time, you inoculate them, you're surely going to have hundreds after just the first year. And then you can proliferate that out into thousands of seeds just in a two-year period. Well, that's all for now. I hope you found this video helpful or entertaining in some way. If so, I'd sure appreciate it if you rated the video, dropped a comment below, and if you haven't already, I'd invite you to subscribe to the channel. Until next time, this is Dan from PlantAbundance.com, wishing you all a great rest of your day and a wonderful evening. I'll be talking to you again soon.